Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very old school text effect that you can create in Adobe Photoshop. This is the airbrush text effect and you might have seen this in old designs as well as bootleg merchandise. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Adobe is having a promotion where you can get over 60% off all Adobe applications if you're a student or a teacher. And yeah, so I'm going to start from scratch right here. I'm going to right click and clear the layer style. So I have just white text right now. This font is called head brush. I'm going to leave it in the description as well as other brush fonts you can use. So right now you won't be able to see it because it's white font on a white background. So you're going to right click on your text. You're going to press blending options. And the first thing you want to do is add a gradient overlay. So this gradient overlay should indicate the colors you're going to be using. I personally like purple and pink. You can use like orange and red, anything that's very similar. I might want to change the colors a little bit so they're more distinct. So there you go. Now you want to create a drop shadow and you're going to actually want to create a bunch of drop shadows. So to create a new drop shadow, you just want to click on FX and press drop shadow. But I already have some here. So the first one I already have is like set as defaults. But basically what you want is you want the spread and size to increase and keep the distance around the same. So the size increases the size of the drop shadow and the spread is how far that drop shadow goes outward. So you want to keep the spread around like 15 to 20 and for the size you want to keep it around 10 to 15. And then you want to replicate this with different colors. So in this case, I have another drop shadow here. This drop shadow has a bigger spread and the reason it has a bigger spread and bigger size is so that I'm able to actually see this color. If it was lower, it'd be harder to see this color. So uh, we have to increase the spread and the size for this. And you want to make sure that the opacity is 100 for all of this. So these are very similar in settings, except the color drop shadow has a bigger spread in size. And then you want to do the same thing with another color. And you want to make sure that the spread in size of the third drop shadow or fourth drop shadow or fifth drop shadow is greater than the one before it. So in this case, I have a purple one. So you can see the spread and size is bigger on this one. And that's essentially how you do it. What you can also do is add an inner shadow, which will add this like white highlight to the side of your text. This just makes it pop out and makes it look a little bit more 3D and authentic. And yeah, that's essentially it for the effect. If you're trying to find different colors you can use, you can always go to hue and saturation and you can just cycle through these and you might see some cool color combinations. For these type of designs, I would keep it to two or three colors. Anything more than that looks a little bit distracting. I know a lot of people use tie dye ones. You can do warmer tones like red and orange. You can do cooler tones like blue and purple. Or what you could also do is you can go to gradient map to check out possible color scheme combinations. A lot of these colors go well together. And if you wanted, you could actually select one and just mess around with the blend modes. So for example, I just went through this blend mode and now I really like this color combination and maybe I could go with something like this instead. It just really helps you if you're stuck when it comes to color combinations. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to check my Discord channel in my pinned comment below. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.